To add a Google Chrome window to OBS to stream it or record it, go ahead and go to the Sources section right down here within OBS Studio and hit the plus button. You'll want to select Window Capture. Now before we do this, you want to make sure that you actually have an instance of Google Chrome open. Right now I've got this instance on my other monitor where I'm just on Google.com, okay? Open the instance of Google Chrome first before you do this. So right down here on Sources, hit the plus button, then to, get, to grab that Google Chrome window, we're gonna select Window Capture. Boom, here it is. I recommend naming it whatever it makes sense to you. I'm just gonna call it Google Chrome for today and hit OK. You're gonna get this Properties window. In this Properties window, you wanna leave all of the settings in place that are here by default, except for two you may wanna change. Uh, unless you're looking to do something very advanced. So in the drop down menu, it will have literally every window open on your computer at that time. You're going to want to find chrome.exe and then whichever instance of Google Chrome you want to capture and show your audience. Click that and hit OK. And boom, as you can see, it's now capturing the Google Chrome window that I have on my other monitor. I can type in whatever I want there, a wall digital, um, for example, and boom, everybody can see in real time whatever you want them to see on that particular monitor. It's really, really cool on that particular instance of Google Chrome. Now, one setting you should be aware of, you guys are probably looking to do demos, maybe even video playback, is capture cursor. You can turn that on or off. I recommend leaving it on for demos and off if you're looking to do things like video playback and things that need to look cleaner or maybe you're looking to just show the news or a chart, all right? Then you hit OK. Now, the resolution of this is going to be exactly the same as the resolution and the aspect ratio of your actual window. So this may look a little confusing, okay? But bear with me, guys. As I resize the actual browser window, notice how it resizes in OBS in real time, right? So if you make it really teeny, it'll be really teeny uh, within OBS. And if you want to make it larger, it'll be larger within OBS. So if you want it to be a full HD window that's being captured, you can full screen it and it'll capture it at that resolution. Or if you just want to make it one little particular part, let's say you just wanted to show a Twitter feed, for example, you could do that. You could drag that to your other monitor and you could browse through Twitter and it would capture that in OBS. A uh, one fun trick with window capture and any other type of visual source is to right click on it Go to transform and do fit to screen. If your window ever gets out of control or it becomes a size you don't want, you can fit to screen and then it kind of gets it within uh, the middle of the screen centered and you can move that window capture to whichever part of OBS you would like. The possibilities are endless and you can add an unlimited number of Google Chrome tabs to OBS using this method to display all sorts of content that you're browsing on the internet. As you can see, I'm browsing my Twitter feed in real time which is absolutely fantastic. The possibilities here are endless, and I've used this to do multi-million dollar webinars, help out creators, and even just people doing online coaching calls themselves, tax people, whatever it may be. If you need help, you can schedule one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. Just go down to my scheduler tool here at the bottom, enter your name, your email, and select your date and time, and boom, I'm on a one-on-one -on -one video call helping you with your YouTube strategy, your social media strategy, or your technology at your home office.